Hi there, this demonstration covers how Fortinet Secure SD-WAN together with FortiCASB provides complete visibility, control and compliance on the content transfer to cloud. This demo focused more on FortiCASB capabilities. Please refer to SD-WAN content on Fortinet YouTube channel for secure SD-WAN capabilities and use cases in detail. This is a brief demo on how Fortinet Secure SD-WAN in integration with FortiCASB delivers efficient application steering and visibility into the content transfer to cloud. As we see here, we have an SD-WAN rule created to steer Office 365 traffic directly to internet over low latency path and FortiCASB is configured to monitor Office 365 account. WAN1 and WAN2 are selected in the SD-WAN rule for Office 365 traffic steering, which are mapped to port 3 and 4 physical interfaces. Login to Office 365 account and upload some sensitive files. If you look at the traffic log, we see here Office 365 traffic is stored over WAN1, which is a port 3, as port 3 is having low latency. Here SD-WAN is doing efficient traffic steering, providing application visibility. But how can we get visibility into the application content? FortiCASB plays a vital role in providing visibility into the content that is shipped to the cloud. FortiCASB Office 365 dashboard provides overview of risky users, content, and their activity. Any content that is violating configured policies are reported in alerts page. As we see here, several alerts got triggered for the files we uploaded a while back. Clicking on the file name provides the file state, which user performed activity, and the content in the file that is triggering violation. So as we conclude the demo, it is clear that SD-WAN and FortiCASB together provides better application steering and deep visibility into the cloud content. This is a brief demo on how FortiCASB can monitor and control publicly shared links and how an admin can revoke exposed links that are in violation. An SD-WAN rule is created to steer Office 365 traffic directly to internet over a low latency path and FortiCASB is configured to monitor the Office 365 account. Most of the organizations are moving to cloud and a lot of sensitive data is transferred to cloud. For example, the file we are looking here is having a patient information and medical records which includes medical ID, date of birth, SSN, home address, race and medical history. A user may or may not have intentionally shared this file with public. But once the file is shared publicly, anyone with the link can access without any authorization. Such actions cause extreme damage to corporations, which can lead to both criminal and financial penalties and erodes customer trust. Let's see how FortiCASB can help and fix such violations. FortiCASB scans the sanctioned account and alerts the admin of any violations. Publicly shared activity is identified and is reported. Alerts are triggered for policies in violation. Click on the file name to get more violation information. Here you can see that file is flagged as external and sensitive and also an admin can identify the user who performed the sharing activity along with the content violating the configured policies. File exposure will provide you the current sharing permissions set on this file. As we see here, the file is shared with public. To fix this, click on the trash icon and a pop-up will be presented for delete confirmation. Click on confirm and FortiCASB will remove the sharing set on this file. Let's verify sharing permissions on this file. 
refresh the page and see that sharing status is set to private now. This is a brief demo on how Fortigaspy can help visualize cloud usage data from Fortigate blogs where traffic steering for sanctioned apps is taken care by secure SD-WAN. Fortigaspy gives admin a concrete overview of all sanctioned and unsanctioned cloud applications. Fortigaspy uses logs from Fortigate and FortiAnalyzer as well as its own discovery process to deliver a comprehensive view of risk and usage of cloud applications. Furthermore, Fortigaspy calculates a risk score for each application and gives users the ability to control application usage. Click on any application to view app description. Clicking on more details should provide you more information on the app, such as number of clients using the app and number of blocked or allowed sessions, detailed risk scores, and the Fortigate devices providing the source data. Shadow IT dashboard provides overview application usage statistics, which includes unsanctioned applications with high risk, top high risk apps, top session apps, file insight into sanctioned cloud apps. Furthermore, Shadow IT dashboard provides file upload activity to unsanctioned applications or personal accounts. Here we see that a file stored in the sanctioned apps box and Dropbox is downloaded and got uploaded to personal box account. Tracking data transfer to unsanctioned and personal accounts is achieved by continuous Intel sharing between Fortigate and Fortigaspy. Now with this info, admin can create policies to block leaking data from corporate sanctioned apps to unsanctioned or personal accounts. Fortigasby also provides shadow IT reporting in different formats and date ranges. Admin can generate the report and download when it is ready. Shadow IT discovery report is very comprehensive with very detailed information and statistics. Usage of unsanctioned cloud applications highlight cloud apps that are being used in the organization and who is using them, followed by a recommendation with steps to fix the cloud applications that are at high risk. The report further provides list of top five risky applications with scores and the users by usage with source IP and file insight, which provides detailed view of files stored in the cloud applications. This concludes the demo and thanks for watching.